Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a quick rundown of how I tear down my recycled lithium ion batteries. So um, from an anonymous source, I have gotten a whole lot of these old power tool batteries. Um, so I've stripped down all the casing um, already. Um, it, that's pretty specific to the batteries you get, but breaking them out of the plastic is pretty similar between them. So the best tool for this is a nice set of thick pliers. Um, get some good ones, don't get the cheap brands. Um, they always break and bend. So the first step is to pull the original BMS off. Find it easier to just grab them like that, pull it down and then yank it off like that and then throw it straight in the bin. Uh, and then once you've got that off, peel all the tape off the side if there's any down the side. Um, every battery is different, even in the same batch. Sometimes they just don't put tape on, sometimes they do. Um, so the next step, get all of the tabs and pull them up straight. There's normally not any on the bottom, it's normally only the main two on the top. Um, pair of aviation snips, these are the cheapest ones I could find. Um, I'll let you guys know how they go. Um, chop each of these off, throw them in the bin. Um, and then you've got basically a nice clean um, pack you can then start to disassemble. So um, the easiest way to go about it is to try and find a big section kind of like that, um, that's easy to grip. Um, get your pliers kind of twisted off. Um, you kind of get the hang of it after a while. Um, and then basically go around and pull off as much of the plastic from the top as you can. There you go, so it's all, most of the plastic is off that cell there. So I'll throw all this away. Um, now for this part, a small flat head screwdriver is really useful. Um, we won't need those anymore, so I'll put those over to the side. Um, so basically what you want to go through, uh, what you want to do is go through and work out which side of the battery uh, soldered together. So that's all one piece, that's all one piece there, uh, as is those two. So you want to try and split them. So um, generally with these packs, you go in from the end, that one will pop off and then you can kind of fold it back. And that one will pop off, you can fold it back. Try not to let those two ends touch because they will short out. Um, and then once you've done that, same deal through here, crack them off, pull them back. Uh, there you go. Actually, I'll just snap these off. A bit easier. Alrighty, and then same through here. Just pull those off. And grab the pliers and pull any other little bits of plastic off that are still attached. Uh, it's generally much easier to use the pliers, otherwise the plastic just cuts up your fingers. So that's how you get the big long strings. So I've already done quite a few of them. Um, decided to video halfway through. Uh, but basically what you do from here is uh, trim the tabs. Just try and get it in the center so you've got a reasonable amount on both sides. These ones are a bit tricky. There, with the tab that goes all the way across. Um, they are actually really easy to short together. So I normally cut through one side, flip it around, and then cut through the other side. So the end goal is to separate each of the cells um, into individual cells, which you can then test. Um, there you go, um, about five minutes for a single pack. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So yeah, you can do about 12, 12 cells in five minutes. Um, apart from that, um, my next video will show you how to cut down and strip each of the individual cells um, in preparation for uh, charging and testing them. 
Thanks heaps. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.